The Dow only up two points, but it did stay above 21,000. My name's D7 here at Grok Trade. Weekend edition, good through Sunday, March 5th, 2017. The markets in the day, mostly bullish with small caps, slightly in bearish territory, but banks up a half a percent. Crude oil up more than one percent. Silver up more than one percent. And we dive seven percent on fear for Friday. Okay, I'm gonna give you guys a lot I apologize for yesterday's video. I zoomed in and never zoomed back out. So you guys couldn't see hardly anything. I'll make sure you see everything here. Bottom right hand corner, make sure you click full screen and high definition. Make sure this is high definition. You'll see everything in great detail. Anyway, for those that don't know me, I've been trading in the live markets 19 years. I've I am both a technician and a fundamentalist, so I trade my companies technically, but I pick them fundamentally. I am going to be sharing with you the daily, weekly, and a glance at the monthly charts on all the major indices and gold and silver and crude oil. Furthermore, I'm going to do something special for you. At the end of the video, I'm going to be sharing with you some tech setups we're going to be looking at techs. I also own the company Grok Trade and we do everything for one purpose. The reason we do these free educational videos is to get people to trust us enough to enroll in our trading mentor program. This is what we want you to do. If you've been to the program and you just need help finding the best stocks, we have the Stock Picks V newsletter. And for those who've been through the mentorship and want to day trade, we have the Grok Star chat room each and every morning. Off to the charts. We're going to start off here, the spiders. Spiders, uh, a couple things. I have updated all of my lines, including my horizontal lines coming across. Make sure you get those lines written down. And the trend lines are just where I have them. I spent over an hour putting these lines perfectly on all these different time frames. So please appreciate that. <laughs> Here's a couple things on the spider, the S&P 500. We are in a rising wedge. Check this out. A bearish divergence from this red line and this red line on the daily chart. Overall, we're bullish, 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 bullish. We need to stay above the eight exponential moving average to keep this bullish momentum to the upside. I'm telling you, the markets love the new president, and but I'm, we're overextended to the upside. To be quite frank, guys, we are on what looks to be maybe a small bubble, and we need to be keeping that in mind. If I go to the weekly chart, you will see on the S&P 500, we blasted through resistance. Now what I'm looking for is the two red lines, the upper trend in the two red lines here. The price action to stay between them. And we need to stay above this line or the A exponential weekly moving average. And a quick look here at the monthly. The monthly, we're just getting started, but we are heading higher. Let's look at the diamonds. This is the Dow 30. And Dow 30 looks a lot like the S&P. It's a big rising wedge. Big rising wedge. And we have a gnarly, 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 uh, let's see here. Oh, man. Divergence. I'm going to blow this up. So I can do what I want to here. Go here. So we have a this divergence. We're going higher here, lower here. This is the MACD. And, and, and we have another divergence. Look at this. Look at this little divergence with this. A lot of pressure here on uh, pushing down on this market. So I'm watching this. The, Dow could be in trouble. We're at a resistance area. If I go to the weekly chart, here is, let me move this over. Weekly chart on the Dow, we do have what 
appears to be the making of a bearish divergence. Here's our channel going higher, but we're on support. The question is, are we going to break down? The answer is yes, at some point we will break down. And that is what the weekly looks like. If you look at the monthly, here's the big problem on the monthly, guys. Monthly chart on the Dow is we went up and broke a major resistance line. If I come back here, and let me show you something. We have resistance. This is back in 2011. 2011, and then we go to 2013. Then we go to 2015, and we're right there again. This is a big time area of problem. We're at major resistance already three days in. We popped over this. The Dow popped over this major line, but it's come back down. This is a great area, a great area to do that, to drop. That's what it looks like it's going to do on a monthly chart, unless we can defy all odds like the market has been doing, and we just blast to the upside. So, oh, I need to say this. Guys, see these arrows, the arrows? Those are calls that I make publicly, and I put those arrows there, and I keep them there, right or wrong. But as you see all these charts, you're going to see these arrows. Pause the screen and ask yourself, would you have made money or lost or lose money if you would have followed those arrows? It's not here to tell you to buy or to sell. It's here to give you guidance on if the markets are bullish or bearish. But you will see calls that I've made on the technical stocks when we get to those. And NASDAQ is next. NASDAQ tech stocks, daily chart first. Up, 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 up in the up a trend. And we are pinching now. Look at this divergence right here. This thing looks like it's ready to drop. I'm using TradingView for all those that's wondering what charting platform I'm using. TradingView. It's free, or you can do a paid um, subscription. Uh, we have no affiliation with them, but tradingview.com, and you can follow me there. Look up D7D, I think dash S E V E N is what I have. D7, feel free to follow me if you'd like. Anyway, that's what it looks like on the NASDAQ daily chart. If I go to the weekly chart, you can see the big W back here and the W there. This is the weekly chart. Up, 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 we're extended. This is high, guys. Really, really high. We're approaching resistance. Um, this market is top heavy. Top heavy. If you look here at the monthly chart, let's take a look here. Not at resistance yet. We do have some. We do have a little upside potential here if we can get up there. But it's looking a little, little laggy to me. Starting off the month here of March. And I like to look at small caps, Russell's, because sometimes Russell's can certainly share with us what is to come. Russell's been very flat for the most part. We tried to go higher, but we go into this pinching rising wedge with a bearish divergence. This thing looks like it's wanting to go a down. That's what it looks like to me. But let's see what the weekly shows us. Here's the issue. We're at major resistance, guys. Major resistance. Oh, that's Problem City, guys. This thing looks like it's ready to do that. That's what it looks like to me. That, again, is the weekly chart on the Russells. Quick look here at the monthly, and here's the big problem. Here it is. We go boom, higher, higher, higher. A little drop. It was a head fake. I called it a sell, and we had to immediately make it a buy. Boom, oh, higher, 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 and bam. Hitting our head at resistance. Where did that line come from? Here it is. It is a great line. We have support here, and that is in 2003. 2003, we come across here resistance in 2008. This is a monthly chart. And then we have resistance 2014. 14 and also 2015. And we're here again. Big time area of resistance. Who is sharing this with you? D7 at Grok Trade. The owner of Grok Trade is sharing this with you. This is the problem. Technically speaking, technically speaking, let's get into the banks. Then we're going to get into gold and silver, some really cool stuff. Then I'm going to get into tech stocks. Really great things for you to feast your mind on. All right, banks. Here it is. Rising wedge at support. Big, gnarly, nasty, bearish 
divergence. Stick a fork in this dude. It looks like that is about to happen. You, oh man, this is a beauty rising wedge. It looks like we could be shorting the banks before you know it. A lot of you guys are bulls, been making a ton of money in the markets, and you'll want to poo-poo my analysis. Don't do that. This is technical analysis at its best. I will be a bull when I'm a bull. I will be a bear when I am a bear, and I will give you what I see in the markets. Oh, let's go back to the banks. Let's make this a weekly chart at resistance. Look at this. We go higher, 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 higher. We're at resistance. This bank looks like it's getting ready to drop. Oh, yeah, bank, 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 getting ready to drop. Big bearish divergence here. Nasty, nasty divergence. This is divergent city. There's divergences everywhere. Let's look at the monthly chart here on the bank. We're just up, 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 up. Things that go up fast, drop fast. That's what we're looking at there. Let's go to financials, see if the financials shows us anything. We're going to start off on the monthly chart on the financials. Up, 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 up. Things go up fast, drop fast. Let's see what the weekly shows us on the financials. Financials, we have a big rising wedge, big rising wedge. We have a bearish divergence, which I did not draw in. Let's do that. There it is. I'm expecting that to drop. Let's see if that happens on that. And the daily, daily chart, of course, we're in a rising wedge at resistance, at resistance. I have a buy on it. I need to be putting a sell. If we start to drop, um, if we go, I should have put a sell on it yesterday. I did not do it. Um, I'm not going to do it yet. No sell on that yet, but I'm getting, I'm itching to pull the trigger on that. All right, let's look at, look at this gnarly, gnarly, gnarly bearish divergence here, guys, with a rising wedge. If you don't know what a rising wedge is, uh, go to Free Online Trading Education. This, whoa, I got that blowing up big time. Let me go down, minus, 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 boom, boom. Okay. Go to freelancetradingeducation.com, click on Chart School, and then feast your eyes on all this goodness. That's what you can do. All right. Uh, I want to go to the US dollar, daily chart, down, down, down. I have a buy on it. We're still going higher. Getting ready to put a sell on it, perhaps. We'll have to see what that is. Weekly chart on the dollar, US dollar. Big rising wedge. And we're in trouble here because we hit support, support, support. We're just smashing support. I have a sell on the weekly, but we did pop up here. I may, I'm going to keep my sell on it because we're not releasing from the support line. All right. And if I go to the monthly on the dollar, it's a big rising wedge, bearish divergence down there. Dollar's in trouble. If the dollar drops, it's going to be really good for stocks, guys. Really good for gold. Really good for all commodities, silver, crude oil, everything else. And I want to go back to the crude oil. Crude oil. Crude oil. I uh, redid some lines on this one. Check this out. I got a huge, huge symmetrical triangle, and we're staying up here toward, uh, towards the re resistance area. This could get bullish. This is a daily chart on crude oil. I mean, I got a lot of arrows on there. Anytime you go sideways, it's just a choppy mess. Um, what a train wreck that was. I need to wait for it to break out or break down. Anyway, that's where we're at. Pretty bullish to stay up there. And I want to look at the weekly chart on crude oil. Crude oil doesn't look nearly, nearly, nearly. Hold on. Crude oil. Let's make sure I get the right chart here. Yeah. Look at this. Same thing. Big symmetric triangle. Resistance. High base. Looking for a breakout to the upside. Crude oil looks like it's going to go bullish, guys. Looking really good. If I go here to the monthly chart, this, though, looks bearish. Everything looks bullish, but the monthly down 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 this is called a bearish pennant these are explosive to the downside doesn't mean it has to go down but that is the technical setup so there's the quandary you got your monthly showing a bearish setup to the downside but you got the weekly and or daily looking really bullish really bullish let's go to gold and silver gold i got some new lines here big symmetrical triangle looking nice 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 here it is, gold, gold, gold. And if I, so we had a sell, 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 but this is a bull pullback. This might rally. If it starts to rally, I'll put a buy on it. I have a sell on 
gold, which I did last week. I will probably put a buy on it soon enough. Let's see what happens with that. The weekly chart on gold, weekly chart on gold. Big symmetrical triangle, have a buy on it, up, 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 but we could drop. A lot of uh, consolidation I expected going into the future here. And if I look at the monthly chart on gold, pinching, pinching, pinching. This is that consolidation area that I'm talking about that could bring us deep into 2017 this year. And I'd like to take a look at look at silver daily chart. This is fascinating. We have this big symmetrical triangle. We broke out of it. Boom. And then we pulled down hard on Thursday, Friday. We bounced right off of support. I have a sell on it. I'm not ready to put a buy on it. Not yet, but we could bounce. If so, I'll put a buy on that. But it was such a nasty sell off on Thursday. It's just hard for me to want to put a buy on this right now. Wow. Daily chart. If I look at the weekly chart on Silver, let's make sure we're looking at that. We are at major resistance on the weekly chart. This brings us back to 2012. 2012 brings us here to 2016. 2016 brings us right here to where we're at now. So the weekly chart, big time resistance. Will we drop or will we pop over resistance? We got to watch this really closely. But the sell side, look at the big volume on the sell side. To me, it looks more bearish than it does bullish on the weekly front. Let's see if the monthly will show us anything. Monthly is showing us a falling wedge breakout in the making. It's like this is going to get really bullish soon on the big time frame on silver. Okay, big time frame. I'm getting ready to do tech stocks. Very exciting. You're going to love this. But before I do it, before I do it, Quick look at the VIX, daily VIX. I called a sell on this Friday on the daily. We're going lower, lower, lower. If I look here at the weekly, we're, I mean, wow, VIX is just really, really low. And if I look here on the monthly, we just keep dropping lower and lower and lower. We're in the uh, complacency stage a big time. All right, let's go into tech stocks. Before I do, make sure you go to Grok a Trade, and we have a mentorship you can do online from the comforts of your own home. We're doing it in a couple weekends from now. It's a Saturday, Sunday, and a Monday. We're going to start at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time to 4 p.m. Pacific. The mentorship is geared for people that can do it during those times. If you can afford a trading computer, you can afford this mentorship. All right, here it is back to the charts using trading a view. This is my bull and bear list that's on my stock picks V newsletter. I'm gonna go down here to my Grok stock picks. Apple, we're gonna look at the daily charts on these only and that because that's all we really need to look at. Apple's up, 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 up. Apple's higher, building a high base. It could get bullish. We do another stagger step sideways, look for a high base breakout to the upside. This 8 EMA is crucially important. Any drop below that would be problems for this overextended run to the upside. Amazon, up, up, up. I got a buy on it still. Up, 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 up. Bull, it's building kind of a bullish pennant. Guys, this bullish pennant, it could get bullish and quick to the upside. So if the markets do go bullish, anything over 860 would be a play. Baba is up high, high, high. It's big bullish pennant also. I mean, wow, very, very cool. This thing could get bullish or bearish. Watch for a big move in tech stocks, guys. Go back to the what I talked about on the NASDAQ. That will help you. Cisco. We just up, 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 looking top heavy, looking very top heavy. Look for this to start to drop, maybe short opportunities. This one, same thing, up, 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 up. This is CTSH. You can see the ticker symbols behind there, CTSH. Um, up, 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 up. Little bullish pennant, tiny one. Let's see what happens. eBay. eBay, 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 eBay. Let's get to eBay. This one's showing weakness. Up, 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 up. Now it's starting to show weakness, guys. Man, if it starts showing any more weakness, my buy is going to turn to a sell. Going to do that. Facebook 
overextended. So it looks like it's starting to get rolling over. Bad news. Google, big rising wedge with a bearish divergence. Bearish divergence here on the MACD. Bad, bad, bad trouble. Oh, I can't even put that bearish divergence. I because we're dropping. I, that was a, that was a error on my part. There's a bearish divergence here though. I can do this. I can do this for sure. Um, so there's a bearish divergence. Big rising wedge. Look for this to drop. The other Google. Yeah, this one too. Alphabet. Um, GoPro. GoPro is interesting. Big descending triangle. This could get bearish big time. Any play, if you could find shorts on this below 860, 860 might be the short area. Microsoft, it looks like it's struggling here. Looks like it's struggling, like it's breaking through um, support and it's having a hard, hard time. NVIDIA, I, I put a sell on this, even though it's fundamentally very, very, very strong, but technically it's just not doing so well. A lot of people, this M, that's a double top. That It's a big M for murder. That could be problematic. Oracle, up, 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 bullish pennant. This thing could get bullish, bullish, bullish. Could get bullish, but could also get really bearish. Look for a move here, guys. Pay a pal. Boom, have a buy on it. Broke through resistance, staying with my buy. Um, this thing could keep going higher. Let's see if it does. Red hat, um, have a buy on it. This is a perfect bull pullback. Look for this to pop, guys. There's a nice trade. Nice trade on Red Hat. Snap is up, 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 up. Day traders, perfect. Swing traders or investment trading, do not do it. Taser, taser. Broke down. Oh, I did not get my sell on that one i was looking at it said watch for this to break down if it breaks down bad news earning boom tasers in a ton of trouble bad news twitter same thing down 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 or at a support level look at this big time support level if it breaks this put a fork in twitter big support back here june 2016 Support here, February 17, and we're right here is where we're at. Wow, if we break down below that, whoa to Twitter, but we have a good chance of popping here. Watch Twitter for a play. Wow, if you're still with me, <laughs> you did a killer job staying with me. Anyway, I give you all respect. Thank you for being part of the community. Thank you for listening to me. And with that said, uh, if you like it, like it. Catch you guys later.